Hi, my name is Ronan Cashel. I am the founder of IT Integrated Business Solutions. I've been a database administrator for almost 20 years, and I'm putting together a screencast about MySQL database administration. And this screencast today is about client server basics. Before getting into some of the fundamentals, let's have a look at some of the common terminology that's used. A host is the computer platform on which a server will run. This includes the hardware as well as the operating system. You've also got a server. A server is a, a program which runs on the host, which manages requests from a client and responds to those requests. A client application is one that runs either on the same host or runs on an external host, sending requests for information and receiving information back from the server. You can also have non-clients and these interact with the internals and in particular we'll, we'll deal with this in the next slide. So let's have a look at a typical client server configuration. A host and you have a server which sends or writes information to data files and reads information from data files. The non-client will interact directly with the data files, so it will not interact directly with the server. An internal application will talk with the server and you can also have an external client which talks with the server. When an external application is talking with the server, it needs to provide two pieces of information, an IP address of the host, but also a port number. A port number can be seen as a window in to, to get inside to the host. So in this case, we have three server processes running, SSHD, MySQL, and FTP. SSHD by default will use port number 22, FTP will use port 21, and MySQL will use port 3306 by default. By having a client talk to both the IP address and the port, it will determine the service or the server in which it will be interacting with. When a server is started on a host, it immediately binds a connection with a particular port number. From this point onwards, any external communications from an external client will be handled by that server. In the case where a port number exists but no server process has been initiated to handle any requests, nothing will happen. For internal connections, it is not necessary to talk with the through the network connectivity, <clears throat> providing a IP address and a port number. Internally, we can use what they call sockets, which is basically a link to a piece of memory on the operating system. This makes it more efficient to talk with the server and to get the responses back from the server. When MySQL is started here, it binds a socket connection with a particular file. Any client connecting will talk with that file to access the server. The server will, will handle and process all the requests that are coming in. Typical MySQL components. You have the server, which is called MySQL D. You've also got client applications, MySQL, MySQL import, MySQL dump, MySQL admin, plus any custom developed application. Non-client applications, an example of that might be the MyISAM check which checks the integrity of the data files where the data is stored on each of the databases.